going on YouTube West Coast Gamers we're back here with some more horse racing manager to just move my microphone for a second um, we got a couple horses boarded we actually have seven horses now and I just realized that we only have six stalls I think the most recent one was bulk stone uh, that's been welcomed here he's a one-year-old or she, yeah he is a one-year-old so he can't even I don't think they can actually start running in this game or competing until they're three they should be able to at two, but I don't think they actually can start at two. I think it actually is three, so I don't have to come to these facilities and buildings, and we're going to need some more stalls here. Uh, and I believe our stalls are, where are they at? Where are they at? Stalls, stalls, stalls. <laughs> All right, here we go with stalls. So we currently have two. Um, I think we can build more. We can upgrade it so now we can get more stalls. I'm pretty sure we don't have as many as we need. Uh, we definitely don't. That's a given. We have two sets of stalls. I don't know if I can buy another set, but we're going to go ahead and buy some more stalls where we can accommodate these horses. Um, and yeah, I believe we have a couple of races, so let's go ahead and advance. And yes, we do. Doc Rosette. This is a horse that we have boarding. As you can see here in this icon, this box, these are horses that are actually owned by the trainers. And of course, this means a horse is being boarded by your stable. So that's what we got going on right here. It's a field of 16. The distance is 1,600 meters here at St. John's. And let's see if we are predicted in any forecast. Probably not. I don't even recall if I've ran with this horse at all. Probably not. Doc Rosetta or Rosette. Yeah, we're the long shot. So this is going to be an interesting race to say the least. Hope you guys have been enjoying, of course. I've, uh, I hope I've been a little bit more consistent with uploading and whatnot. Remember, if you want this game, all the information is in the description box below. Make sure you please read everything carefully. And this game can be yours uh, very quickly. So that's it. And we got a very, very bad gate position number. We are all the way on the outside. So let's see. Never ran with this horse. So we're going to see how this is going to work for us. And yeah, we gotta come inside, move to the inside here. And we're not doing too bad. I don't know if the field is gonna move faster than what we're going. Uh, it may be the case here. I'm just gonna go ahead and give him just a little bit of urgency to kind of get up there. We need to get nose down, but tucked to the inside and hopefully we don't get blocked. Uh, that's not bad. The field is moving pretty fast. So we're gonna go ahead and move our priority meter to uh, the wind resistance and fatigue and we're gonna go ahead and get him up again and the pace is moving I think the pace is moving relatively fast you see two bars of effort for the pace and yeah we're, we're struggling to keep up here so I'm not sure how this race is gonna go for us I'm gonna go ahead and move just a little bit here uh, yeah, we're exerting a lot of energy. If I were to slow this horse down, we're going to be done. We're exerting a lot of energy. He's using literally all of his energy to keep up. This is a really fast field. Really fast. My goodness. The paces usually stay at one or below, but for this to stay at two this entire race, that is, that's crazy. I might have to get an uh, earlier move here if I can because we're going to run out of stamina. And there was nothing I could do about that. I mean, this horse is just not, this clearly, this field clearly is way too much. Hence why we were the long shot going off at like 38 to 1. So I don't think there was anything we could really do about that in this case. Pretty sure if I put him under the whip, he's going to break anyways. Uh, I can try. Yeah, not even working. No response at all. So long shot to say the least. At least it's not my horse. I am boarding it, of course. Um... I'm not sure if I can even, I don't, I'm not sure how long I actually need to keep it at my stable. I don't know if there's certain time frames for that. But, uh, yeah. I knew that race wasn't going to end well at all. The long shot, the terrible gate position, and the fact that I've never even um, ran with this horse. All of that put together is a recipe for a bad result. So, we're not going to uh, dread on that too much. Next race, Sweeter Jeets. This is my horse. Sweeter Jeets is uh, still struggling, but we're trying to get up there. Um, seventh place has been our pretty much consistent finish, so 
same distance, better gate position, much better, even though we're still going to be to the outside. Hoping we can have a pretty good chance here to make something happen. The horror races have us predicted. Let's see what our odds are looking like. Sweeter G, 17. Rest of the field, we got a couple guys under 10, but most part of this race should be pretty much up for grabs. So let's go ahead and give it a shot. See what we can do here. And uh, yeah. I may do a thoroughbred stable, but like I said, I really Gallop Racer is my thing for that, and I need to get back to recording that, and I will, don't worry. It's just, um, I only have one capture device to record my Xbox and my PlayStation gameplay, and I don't like unhooking stuff uh, a lot, because then, obviously, that's how it wears down, and it, you know, eventually stops working, so I may have to buy another capture program, the same one separate for my PS2, that way I can record Gallop Racer. Because I have to unplug everything in my Xbox to, in order to hook up the capture program for my PS2. And like I said, I don't like unplugging stuff a lot because usually it leads to the software or the program itself, really. The device is not working. So don't worry, Gout Racer will be back. Sweeter G's exerting a little too much energy, much more than I would like him to do. Okay, calm down there. It's a the thing about those outside gate positions. You have to do a lot to move inside and to get, you know, a good position, especially depending on what rail you're running to. That horse is not having a good day at all. I don't know if he broke or if he's just not having a good day. And Sweeter is just taking his good old time. Come on, Sweets. Come on, Sweets. Tuck in there. Wait. Okay, I'm just going to get... I'm going to just tuck him in right here. And uh, make sure... These paces are moving really fast. Extremely fast. Every time we race on a course like this, the pace is ridiculously fast. And that is a little troubling. Because that usually isn't the case. But it's been the case... With these last two races, so where we're racing at St. John's racetrack, I might need to avoid this track because for whatever reason, it seems the pace is always relatively quicker than I would like it to be, and there's not much I'm really able to do about it at this point. So look at that, exerting way too much energy, way, way, way too much. There's nothing I can really do about that, so. We're just going to stay where we're at, and we'll get him going here um, a little later than usual. Is he going to block? Am I going to get blocked? We're going to go to the inside. We're going to roll. I don't know how long or how far we're going to be able to go. Doesn't seem like we really have space here, but like I said, running at the pace that we were running at, we weren't bound to do much anyways. Um, so, yeah. Sweeter G's has potential. I have faith in this horse in the long run, but... You know, we still got uh, we, we still got to figure some things out. And yeah, outside gate positions, we're just kind of getting screwed with that, and you're just just taking the horse way too much energy, um, using way too much energy to try to try to maneuver back to the inside. So that's really what's screwing us now. Um, Blackie front. This horse, I believe, is boarded. Yes, this is a horse we're boarding. So Blackie font. Excuse me. Uh, probably not forecasted, so I would imagine our odds are not looking good, and we are going off at, wow, we're actually the favorite? Am I blind? Did I not, we actually appear to be the favorite, but we're not predicted in any forecast. Okay, we're not the favorite, but we're close too, and they don't have us for anything. Okay, this is at Lexington. It's 1,800 meters, so this should be interesting. Let's go ahead and make it happen. Gate position five, not bad. I think this will be our best race out of the three we just did, so... Hopefully we can make this work. And let's get going. Gate position five. We're going to move to the inside. I feel pretty good about this. The rest of the field is on the other half of us. So we should be pretty good here. We are off in pacing. I'm going to go ahead and move that down to maneuverability and fatigue. And yeah. Pretty good. Pretty good. I could have gotten out a little stronger, but like I said, I want to keep things right here. Just make sure you stay tucked. Pace is moving pretty fast, but we're not observing. I mean, we're not uh, we're not using too much energy, which is good. In fact, we haven't hardly done anything, so this is great so far. And like I said, gate position is key. I don't know if there's actually any legitimate way to guarantee gate position in this game. I know uh, sometimes it's about earlier registration for races, but I've tried that and still end up getting a bad gate position, so I don't know how they determine it in this 
fucking game at all. But we're sitting pretty nice here. This is what we want. You don't really want to be going anywhere above one if you can help it. Two is all right, but you're running a risk, especially if your horse's endurance isn't high. I would like to keep it below one. And as you can see, this horse is using a little bit right now. I'm going to go ahead and move this ball up to win for, uh, the wind resistance and fatigue. And I don't know if we have any wind on the back stretch here. If we don't, we probably don't. Okay, it appears that we do. And we do. Yeah, we're exerting way too much. It's, it's kind of the problem. I don't know how these other trainers' uh, horses run. I, I really don't. But I think we'll have enough stamina to finish the race if we stay like here. So we may just um, we may just need to make a late, a late last minute move. And then you see you got situations like this where now you know they're using a lot more energy and effort. It just doesn't make any sense to me. It kind of blows my mind. Kind of blows my mind. But we got time. We got time. We got time. Because if we keep at this pace, we're going to tire out anyways. Okay, we got time here. Uh, let's go ahead and run. We're going to move to the outside. That horse might break. And we're going to get. We're gonna beat him out if we can. And beat him out if we can. I don't know if I should put him under the whip yet. We got 300 meters to go. We'll try it. And we can't try it anyway. So, um... Stamina wise, we got enough to finish. And we're probably not going to get much. Definitely could have been ran better, but. Can you do? New horse, trying to figure it out. Yeah, so. Not much we can do in that instance. Should have finished a lot, a lot better, but still. I don't know why these horses have been exerting themselves. Of course, that's two out of the three that I've never raced before. And Sweeter Jeets is still improving, of course. Um, yeah, so we'll see if we can get another race in here. Auction one of your horses over one year old in the Dualville. Yeah, I could. You don't have enough stalls. Um... I did build more stalls, or at least I am building more stalls as of now. I don't know when they'll be finished. But, um, yeah. In fact, I don't know why I'm boarding. This horse can be good uh, once he's able to run, but kind of having him now, it's really not helping me out at all. I don't even know if I can get rid of him. And I don't recall if I actually took out a loan yet. Um... I don't rec I think I did I take out a loan? I did take out a loan. Our current finances are only going to last us 15 weeks unless we are able to get a victory here and a really big one to kind of put a cushion in there. And like I said, I don't think I can actually let me see if I can um as far as selling I'd have to sell one of my horses that I have. I still kind of got faith in Sweeter Jeets, but I mean that speed and that acceleration are really good. Fancy gold. Everybody else is pretty solid, even though Pay Broken finally got a second place after breaking. Um, Sweeter Jeets is struggling. Spugly Eyes, of course, is our main one. And Fancy Gold kind of up and down. Theoretically speaking, I think there's more potential in Sweeter Jeets over a Fancy Gold. Just kind of looking at the stats here and the finishes. So maybe a Fancy we may have to get rid of. That would just save us a little bit. But I'm going to give each horse a chance. So we'll try to do one more race. I don't know if we actually have. Let me look at our calendar. I don't recall when our last race is. We do have a race for the 11th. Pay, uh, pay broken. We'll go ahead and hit this, and then uh, this will be the last race for today. Pay broken. Field of 12, gate position 5. Not bad. We are predicting the prediction mag. And that's about it. And we're going off at 17. And half of the field is under 10. So we're not really close as we would like to be but it's all good we just got to be able to try to run our race to the best of our ability so let's see what we can do here let's see what we can do here and we'll do this for here it's always in the beginning we're off and pacing pretty good start pretty good start pretty good start all right Pretty good start. We're going to move in. Give a little sense of urgency here. 
pace moving pretty fast. Just keep him up there, or keep her up there, I believe. Um, we're going to move to the inside, stay here. Hopefully the field doesn't move too fast for us, and uh, we should be all right. I want to keep her as close to the next horse as possible. That's really my goal. Um, okay, get up there, and good. So we're pretty settled here, we're pretty settled. We shouldn't use too much stamina for the duration of this race. And we can keep at this pace, and hopefully this this field can kind of clear out as we hit the stretch. I think we have a potential for a strong finish. And right now we're just going to keep this on energy consumption. And I think we'll have plenty of stamina left for the race, as long as the pace stays like this. Um, you need a little bit of luck in this thing game, too. You hope that the AI's pace is not too fast that your horse can't handle. Stay where you're at, and uh, you'll have stamina left. You'll just have to make the good maneuvers um, in the last, you know, say two turns for sure uh, to make sure that obviously you have a chance in the stretch. You don't want to be blocked. Don't want your horse to break. None of that. Stamina-wise, I think we're doing good. So as soon as this field starts to move, we're kind of going to get get her up here. We're going to move, get her close to this one, bog down. We're looking pretty good here get to the stretch we got plenty of stamina so we should be able to roll so as soon as this field starts to move I'm gonna take her right along with them and we're not getting any movement right now but we got plenty of time okay now we're getting some movement we're gonna push outside we're gonna push outside there we go push outside and boom we got room we got room right up the inside I don't want her to break I think we got it okay now I'm gonna get her under the whip she's good we got space we got space and we got time we got space and time. Good pull. Good pull. That's a strong second place finish. Oh, what? Are you kidding me? Not photo? Ah, third. Just by a nose, a third place finish. That was a strong finishing. I like that. That's kind of how you got to do that. And you can see how much of a difference it makes in your finish when your horse is not exerting more than at least one ball of energy down in that bottom left corner I was showing you guys. So a third place finish. That's what we need. That is exactly what we need, and I'm content with that. I'm really content. So, guys, that's going to do it for this episode. Hope you all enjoyed it. As always, remember, if you did, please smash the like button. Of course, we will be back with some more HR, HRM2 Horse Racing Manager 2 action. If you want to acquire this game, remember to check the description box below. Go check out the links. Read all the information, and you will get this. Legitimately, once you fill out the form and send payment, you'll get it in under three hours. Usually, it's about 50 minutes that it takes for it to transfer uh, through WeTransfer Plus. Check out the website. That's what I use all the time. I've been using it for two years. Um, so, yeah. Uh, and other than that, remember, if you're new, subscribe to the channel for more. And I appreciate all you guys' support. We'll be back here very soon. That'll do it. Have a great day. See you next time.